Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Find the Missing Number. In this tutorial, we will learn how to find the missing number for number bonds to 100. And we're going to do this for subtraction questions. So let's have a look at our first example. We have 100 minus something equals 72 got 100 minus something equals 72. Now what this question is saying is what number do we have to take away from 100 to equal 72? Or alternatively what we can do is do what we've done in previous tutorials we can swap these two around. So therefore the question will read 100 minus 72 equals the missing number. So we've got the missing number on one side of the equal sign. Now as in previous tutorials we're going to use the vertical format. This is one example. We're going to show you a different one in the second one. So 100 minus 72. We can label the columns. We've got units, tens and hundreds. Now this is actually a slightly longer way of doing this. But let's do this. OK, units, we've got 0 minus 2. Well, we can't do that because 0 is smaller than 2. Have a look at the tens. Well, it's already 0. So we can't take anything from there. We have to go to the hundreds column. Let's cross out 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. The 1 we have taken from here, we're going to add it to the tens column. Now we're going to cross out the 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. And the 1 from there, we're going to add to the units column. So now we've got 10 minus 2. 10 minus 2 is 8. On to the tens we've got 9 minus 7. The answer is 2. The hundreds are 0. So we don't need to write anything there. Therefore 100 minus 72 is 28. We can write this in our original question. 100 minus 28 equals 72. That is the missing number, 28. OK, let's use a slightly different method for our second example, where we've got 100 minus something equals 36. 100 minus something equals 36. Now, what this, what this question says is, what number taken away from 100 will equal 36? Or alternatively, what number added to 36 is going to equal 100? Okay, we've got to have 100 on each side. So what number added to 36 is going to give us 100, and that is the missing number. So let's do it this way. Have a look at the units. We've got 6. How many units do we need to get to? Well, we need to get to 0. So 6 plus what number is going to give us a 0 at the end? The answer is 4. 6 plus 4 is 10. I'm just going to put an equal sign here. So 36 plus 4 is 40. OK, so we've got the 0 that we wanted. And now, what number added to 4 is going to give us this 10? So what number added to the 4 is going to give us 10? The answer is 6. The units we've done. Let's underline these and add these together. 0 plus 0 is 0. 4 plus 6 is 10. OK, that was our target. We had to get to 100. So which numbers have we added? Well, we've added the 4 and we've added 60. We don't need to add these. We're simply collating them. It's 6 and then 4. That's the answer, 64. And we can write this in the question. 100 minus 64 equals 36. The missing number is 64. So those are two different methods to work out the same type of question. The second one is one you will be using a lot more when you start working with larger numbers. The reason is it's easier to do, firstly, and secondly, it, you can do this with mental arithmetic. Okay, so you don't need pen and paper. This is something over a period of time 
you should be able to work out all of this in your head. Okay, I'm just showing you all the workings. So this is how we find the missing number for number bonds to 100 for subtraction questions.